In Education Matters, a possible strike by Fresno Unified Teachers getting closer by the day. Existing contracts will expire in a little more than two weeks. KC24's Rhett Rodriguez joining us live from outside the district office with an update on the negotiations. Rhett. Stephanie, September 29th is that day circled on the calendar for the deadline. And if the two can't come to an agreement by then, that could mean a possible strike. A possible strike is looming over Fresno Unified, the state's third largest school district, and the Fresno Teachers Association, which represents more than 4,000 teachers. In the latest negotiations, the FTA is demanding better pay, working conditions, and lifetime health care. With salary, we want to make sure that we just keep up with the cost of inflation. That's all we're asking. Um, we want to make sure that we reduce our class sizes, we reduce our caseload, and improve other areas that are going to help our students learn. District Superintendent Bob Nelson says the district is bargaining in good faith, but disagrees with the union salary demands, saying the offer that is on the table already matches soaring inflation rates. Yeah, there's a narrative that somehow our pay has not kept up with inflation. Um, our pay over the last 10 years has gone up 32.7% and inflation has not gone up at that same rate. Under previous contracts, Fresno Unified teachers were guaranteed lifetime health benefits. That ended in 2004. After 2004, they only got health benefits while employed by the district, but lost them when upon termination of the employment under contracts now being offered by the district. That policy would remain in effect, meaning no lifetime health benefit. It's a major sticking point because as of now, the union is demanding the guarantee of lifetime coverage be reinstated, but negotiations remain in a state of flux. Union leaders say the district is being unreasonable on the issue. Um, we believe that there is enough money in our health fund in order to do lifetime retiree benefits. This is a, a thing that Bob Nelson himself has and yet it does not want to do for all other employees. Nelson received lifetime medical benefits when he began working with the district in the early 90s. He says lifetime benefits weren't possible in the 2000s and aren't possible now. At the time, it was believed that that was something that we could do that was fiscally sustainable. But even as early as the two, early 2000s, we realized this is a recipe for disaster. You can look at other districts that have lifetime medical here in the state of California that cannot get out from under the fiscal problems associated with costs that you just can't cap. If a strike does happen, the district says it will offer substitutes $500 a day. And if an agreement cannot be met, the district will hold the strike vote on October 18th. Reporting live, Rodriguez, KC24, Local News That Matters.